fights for his country and dies. Comes back to a small town in Texas, denied burial in the White Chapel. You have Dr. Hector Garcia, who I think was from Corpus Christi. He defends his family. He writes 50 letters to politicians. Who replies? A Tejano named Lyndon B. Johnson, the then senator. From there, this group becomes the, um, the GI form, but bigger, becomes its ascent. When Lyndon B. Johnson's president, they inspired him to sign the civil, uh, civil rights legislation. I think what people forget too, they think Latinos are disorganized, or Mexicans, Americans are disorganized. They think we're disorganized, but they forget. They forget that the GI Forum started Viva Kennedy Clubs across the country. We were responsible for having JFK elected. And also, the other people forget, and what Arizona seems to have forgotten with their unconstitutional laws, it was Tejanos, Gus Garcia, Judge De Anda, who went and defended Mexicans as a, as a protected class to the Supreme Court. So my point is that there's a Texas legacy for these civil rights, which everybody should know about, and they don't, just the way our history's been erased all across the country, and that's over, because I think what's happened is this is network of artists, activists, from now on. This is not a one-time deal. This is, we're rolling out the network that will be in place from now on. This is the Mayan process. Exactly. <laughs> the beginning of the new world. So. <laughs>